10 cruelest and worst zoos in the world. All zoos are not created equal. Some do helpful, important conservation work and research, while others do the opposite, imposing cruel conditions and inhumane treatment on captive animals. Keeping standards of compassionate care and humane treatment in mind, we've compiled the 10 zoos with the worst conditions for animals. Here we go. Number 1. Surabaya Zoo, Indonesia Often referred to in the media as the world's cruelest zoo, the Surabaya Zoo has seen one tragedy after the next in recent years. From a young lion found hanged in his enclosure and a giraffe with plastic lining her stomach to a tiger fed with meat laced with formaldehyde. A total of 43 animals died at the zoo between just July and September of 2013. Journalist Richard Shears blew the lid off the zoo with his harrowing photos. Set up nearly a century ago in one of the most biologically diverse corners of the planet, Surabaya Zoo once boasted the most impressive collection in Southeast Asia. But today, the zoo is a nightmare, plagued by uncontrolled breeding, a lack of funding for general animal welfare, and even persistent suspicions that members of its own staff are involved in illegal wildlife trafficking. One of the biggest problems at Surabaya Zoo is overcrowding. Whereas most zoos limit the number of animals born in captivity, considering how many can reasonably be cared for or exchanged with other zoos, the notion of family planning has not yet taken off here. Contraceptives are expensive and there are no adequate facilities to separate males and females. As a result, species are bred to excess. Number 2. Mumbai Zoo India. Also called the Jijamata Udain Zoo, this zoo is known for slowly becoming a taxidermy museum rather than a facility to care for animals. Because many of the zoo's enclosures don't conform to the country's anti-cruelty guidelines, the zoo's been letting its animals die and then stuffing them, creating taxidermy models for visitors to see instead of animals including the last Siberian tiger in India. Not only do animal advocates oppose the miserable conditions the animals are kept in, but they also say that stuffing animals encourages the illegal trade in animal skins and carcasses. Animal rights activists have filed criminal complaints, and there have been demands to inspect conditions at the zoo. The 53-acre zoo is planning to get more species as part of its revamp plan, but environmentalists and animal welfare activists said that the zoo needs to drastically improve conditions before bringing new exhibits. There are many problems with Mumbai Zoo. It was laid out in 1861 as a botanical garden. Small animal enclosures in the style of 19th-century zoos were added from 1873 onwards, but the zoo continued to receive botanical specimens from all over the tropical world, becoming a repository of exotic plant species. A report in 2010 by botanist Marcelin Almeida counted 276 species of trees. Almeida's team used GPS indicators to find out that there were 843 plant types, including tree species. The report said that central Mumbai's green lung should be preserved. Though citizens' groups opposed the expansion plans, the zoo decided to go ahead with the project, but scaled down the grand plans. Number 3. Giza Zoo, Egypt the Giza Zoo has been targeted by activists for years for a plethora of animal welfare issues filmed on disturbing footage. The animals live in cramped, dirty cages and get little exercise or enrichment, and zookeepers reportedly charge visitors to enter the cages with the animals. Not bad enough? Dozens of animals have died in questionable circumstances. 
The zoo lost its membership with the World Association of Zoos and Aquariums, or WAZA, in 2004, after it wouldn't follow the recommendations of inspectors. It is, however, a member of the African Association of Zoos and Aquaria, or PAAZAB. Number 4. Kyiv Zoo, Ukraine Called a concentration camp for animals, the Kyiv Zoo was expelled from the European Association of Zoos and Aquaria in 2007 over poor conditions and mistreatment of animals. About 51 animals died there in 2008, including an elephant who reportedly died from a diet lacking nutrition and a camel that wasn't treated for an abdominal condition. A government audit also found that thousands of dollars were misspent at the zoo, while animals were illegally sold and money meant for animal feed disappeared. The animals just kept on dying at the Kyiv Zoo, a place one activist has likened to a concentration camp for those with fur and feathers. Animal welfare groups say dozens if not hundreds of animals have died at the zoo in recent years due to malnutrition, a lack of medical care and mistreatment, and some suspect that corruption is at the heart of the problem. Once the jewel of the Ukrainian capital and a favorite weekend spot for families, the zoo began to deteriorate after the 1991 collapse of the Soviet Union and the years of poverty that followed. Animals were kept in cramped, poorly lit and poorly heated enclosures, fed improperly and left unattended, according to watchdogs. Officials have had difficulty determining exactly how many animals died or disappeared under the previous management. The zoo now has 2,600 animals from 328 species. Number 5. San Antonio Zoo, United States while some of the conditions at the San Antonio Zoo aren't as bad as the facilities we have covered so far, the zoo's been targeted for its abysmal elephant enclosures for years. Named the worst zoo for elephants, as many times by the group in defense of animals, the zoo keeps a female Asian elephant named Lucky in solitary confinement after the death of another elephant named Queenie. Profoundly social animals, elephants need companionship and often exhibit obsessive behaviors when housed alone. Over 9,000 animals, representing 750 different species, are kept in captivity at the San Antonio Zoo. Prior to the passage of the Endangered Species Act in 1973, animals were captured straight from the wild and ended up in the San Antonio Zoo to be used as exhibits. That's how Lucky, an Asian elephant, arrived at the zoo in 1962 at the age of four. Gertrude, the white rhino, also arrived in this manner in 1970 at the age of five. After 1973, zoos were prohibited by the Endangered Species Act from capturing animals listed as endangered or threatened from their natural habitat as well as importing, exporting, or trading them in any way. Since then, the zoos mainly acquired animals that are sent to live there, like Queenie the elephant, which was sent after being rescued from a private owner, or they traded back and forth with other zoos for the purpose of mating, to produce more captive offspring. As the older generations of animals who were captured from the wild pass on, the vast majority of animals living in zoos today were born there. Number 6. Tirana Zoo, Albania The zoo in Tirana, Albania's Tirana Zoo, can more accurately be described as an animal prison, as the majority of its residents are kept in tiny, featureless rooms lined with tiles reminiscent of those found in shoddy hospitals. Monkeys sadly dwell in their bear cages, eagles cling to pitifully inadequate perches, and bears spend their days pacing in appallingly undersized chain-link cages. As photographer Paul Kahn wrote, 
The staff have put up chain-link fence and mesh fence to keep people from throwing food and cigarettes into the cages or striking their fingers in to touch the animals. Visitors have tried to vandalize the fencing nonetheless. Additionally, because there are very few zoos in Albania, the Tirana Zoo reportedly finds it extremely difficult to produce qualified staff and is grossly underfunded. Number 7. Pyongyang Central Zoo, North Korea It may come as no surprise that in a country essentially walled off from the rest of the world, the walls and cages that house the collection of over 5,000 animals in North Korea's Pyongyang Central Zoo are incredibly grim and isolated. According to a 2006 report by the Asia Times, a movie called Fighting Animals that was shot in the country actually showed caged animals, including some endangered species, fighting each other to the death. Making matters worse, since many of the animals seen in the video can only be found in the Pyongyang Zoo, it seems highly likely that the zookeepers themselves were involved in the production of the film. The North Korean Zoo is located in western Pyongyang and was built under the guidance of North Korean founder Kim Il-sung in 1959. Before revealing the last three cruelest zoos in the world, would you be kind enough to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet done so? Also, give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. Let's continue. Number 8. Gilkantsu, Iraq not only does the Klikantsu in Iraq have the usual zoo problems of too small living spaces and general cruelty towards animals, but it also seems to be a location of illegal animal smuggling. An increasing trend among the Iraqi wealthy is to acquire a private zoo with the most exotic animals possible, and the Glikan Zoo is a transaction point for some of these exchanges. The zoo owner openly says that he smuggles some animals for private zoos, like birds and monkeys, but denies that he does so with more dangerous animals, like lions. Although, there seems to be proof to the contrary. Number 9. Bowmanville Zoo, Canada In June 2010, three animals were stolen while in transit from Nova Scotia to the Bowmanville Zoo in Ontario. The zoo offered a $20,000 reward for the return of the animals and $2,000 for a picture that showed the animals being given water. Police believed it was an opportunity crime and that the thieves were unaware of their cargo. Imagine opening up that trailer to find a Bengal tiger and two camels. However, a few days after the supposed theft, the trailer was found just north of Montreal, with the animals safe and sound inside. Number 10. Shenyang Forest Wild Animal Zoo, China Over the course of three months, 11 rare Siberian tigers died in this now closed zoo in northeastern China. A manager at the zoo said the tigers died of various diseases, but local authorities and wildlife officials believe they died from malnutrition. The tigers were apparently fed cheap chicken bones as food and were kept in very small cages. China has only about 50 tigers left in the wild, but there are about 5,000 kept in captivity. That's all from us today. If you'd like to watch more of such content, then be sure to subscribe to our channel. Also, give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below.